After you've played back your script in Kite, you can look at the Performance tab to investigate all the objects in your page in what we call the Waterfall Chart. The Performance tab should be one of the tabs in the right side of your Kite window. After playback, you should see a list of all the items that loaded, and you can investigate those by clicking on any individual item, and that will bring up the headers on the bottom left side of the Kite window. You can look at Request Headers and Response Headers. You can also double-click an image, which will open that image up and show you what it is. There's also headers up top. You can sort by those headers, and you can also right-click in this top bar and show certain columns. So I'm going to select columns, and then I'm going to find IP address. Now I see the IP address for each object. And if you don't want to see a specific column, you can right-click and hide it. The icon over to the left tells you what the file was that was loaded, and then the full URL and path are shown over here to the right as well. Right now I'm grouped by action, which is the step in my script. I've only got one, it's the homepage of ebay.com. If you have more than one action, you would roll those up and you'd see several pages listed. What you can also do is right click in the header bar and group data by any of the parameters. As I mentioned, I'm grouped by action. You can group by IP address, group by domain, and you can see all of your domains in a list and drill down on one of them to just see the content from that domain. You can also enable the group by area. If you look at the bottom of this list, it says toggle group by area. If I pick that, it gives us a group area up top. Then you can drag a column header up into the group by area, and Kite will group up by that parameter. That just makes it easier to sift through your page and see what objects are coming from what domains. Thank you for watching.